Hi, this is Michelle with UW Extension, Michelle's Money Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about savings. And research suggests that saving for emergencies is a first line of defense against unexpected expenses such as car repairs, a medical bill, or even a broken phone. The importance of savings. For millions of Americans, establishing a savings fund for emergencies is the first step to improving their overall financial well-being and staying on track to reach some of their financial goals. Financial emergencies can happen to anyone at any time. Um, in fact, 60% of U.S. households have experienced a financial shock in the past 12 months. And since the pandemic, I would say it was higher than that. Um, and that was from PewTrust.org research. And research suggests that even individuals with a reasonable ability to save find it hard to recover unless they have access to savings that they can use for expenses. And like we said, financial shock would include the medical expenses, car trouble, house trouble, pet trouble, any type of issue that you didn't expect in your regular budget. Putting away, putting money away into savings, even small amounts, can help people feel more confident in their ability to overcome a financial shock. Saving just one month of expenses can help protect many households from unexpected emergencies or experiencing significant financial hardship. Without a dedicated savings fund for emergencies, these unplanned costs may, co may become um, credit card or loan debt that, that's harder to pay off. And that simil similarly, individuals may pull from other savings um, that it intended for long-term security, like your retirement. And, and also, when you think about it, it puts you more at risk um, on so many levels. Then you have to go and ask your family, potentially your friends. And if you've ever had anybody borrow money from you and not pay you back, um, there becomes issues that, that really are um, actually they're preventable if people were to were to go ahead and get themselves set up. Now, I understand not everybody can do that right away, but it's a goal for everyone. If you're breathing and if you're dealing with resources, it's a great idea to have um, savings. So um, research suggests that the lack of savings can set Americans back and make it very difficult to recover financially or protect against future financial shocks or to save for for your future with your retirement or big purchases. Non-savers indicate greater reliance on high cost financial services such as pawn, pawning their stuff or payday loans. And like I said, dealing with family and friends, asking them for money can be very, very difficult and uh, very cause big rifts in families. Um, they say that 71% of households face difficulty saving and more than half of households struggle to make ends meet after their most expensive financial shock. Um, the good news is, is that the U.S. personal saving rate is, um, is personal saving as a percentage of disposable personal income. So that means it's the percentage of people's incomes left after they've paid their taxes and spent money. So in February, um, in November of 2020, people's savings, uh, personal saving rate was up 12.5%. Then in February 2021, it was up 13.6. Um, I believe that has something to do with the pandemic because of the unsurety and the and people were very, very scared on many levels. So, and they got extra money from the government. Some people did. Hopefully you were able to put that back and put that into your savings. No matter what your situation is, it's always a great idea to have savings. So if you've liked this um, video, please like and share. I'll be talking about emergency savings in my next video. Thank you for joining me.